talk to me about where the data comes from. We heard some of it's coming from the EHR, some of it's coming from claims. Are there other sources of the data? There are. Data can come from many sources across the healthcare ecosystem. As we explored our foundational analytics needs, and as we've become more sophisticated in our ability to use data, we've learned so much about the various available data sources, and we continue to explore additional sources that we plan to integrate. In the early days, we integrated all the common data sources, such as health plan eligibility and health plan claims data, the clinical EHR data and practice management data, data from our core facility partners, so hospital admission and discharges, and various reference files that were very unique to our value-based care contracts. But there are other data sources that facilitate connectivity to an extended network of data that's highly valuable for patient care. For instance, as we've progressed deeper into our risk journey, adding data related to risk adjustment and coding gaps became critical. And in this age of virtual care, telehealth and remote physiologic monitoring data is critical for coordinated and comprehensive patient care. And now there are more and more sources of sociodemographic data as well that help us understand the potential social needs of our patients, which are incredibly important influencers of health outcomes. So the the data sources we integrate are really driven by our business needs and prioritized by considering technical challenges for accessing the data. With each of these data sources, there's just constant trade-offs between getting the most or the best data and leveraging what's easily available and easy to integrate to match to our current data sources. So we really can create that full clinical picture for each of our patients. 